Hello, this is my video review for the SR16 Texas Instruments Electronic Slide Rule Calculator. Here's the box right here. This belonged to my grandfather, who was a machinist. My father also had one as well. This came out in 1974 with a price tag of $100. It uh, is very similar to the scientific calculators of today. Within the box, we have our calculator case, a vinyl calculator case with the calculator on the inside. Also the manual. There is a power cord to charge the calculator. The manual, which is very thorough, even has uh, example problems in, in the back, it says this as part of the description. Your SR16 slide rule calculator is designed to assist you in solving simple arithmetic and complex technical problems. The 12 arithmetic and special function keys, plus independent memory and scientific notation, make the SR16 a versatile computing tool. The calculator itself looks like this. As you can see, it's very similar to the calculator, scientific calculators uh, today. Some of the main differences are this giant on and off button, the fact that you have to charge the calculator, and the digital readout screen. This calculator no longer works because the charging port has been corroded. However, uh, this digital screen, very small, and gives a red digital readout, much like bedside clocks. But they're also very tiny. By 1975, the calculator was reduced in price to around $50, pretty much making the slide rule obsolete. If I was reviewing this at the time, I would talk about its wedge shape. Apparently this is one of the last times that they did have the wedge shape on these calculators. What they were trying to do is continually making them smaller, and the, the wedge shape just was way too big. The nice thing about it is when you had this on your table, you could read uh, the screen very nicely. Because if you had it tilted in any way, it was very hard to, to see it. This calculator was mostly used by scientists and engineers, but like I said, my, my father and grandfather were both machinists and they used this quite often. Uh, it was much more accurate than the mechanical slide rule. Mechanical slide rule was very fast, but it you could only get a certain number of decimal points in in any calculation before you were really just guessing. This had eight places, eight different numbers that you could see, so that was much more accurate than the mechanical slide rule. It contains uh, one memory slot uh, that you can store a number. You can do logarithms, exponents. A nice thing about this calculator, since it might have been the first calculator that most people had, there are quick instructions on the back on how to use the calculator. It also comes with a one-year warranty, which it looks like my grandpa totally took advantage of since it is ripped out. The nice thing about this, though, is that it had a much smaller learning curve than a uh, slide rule. Uh, if you were using a mechanical slide rule, you had to do calculations in your head even while you were using it. To know where to put a decimal point, for example, you'd have to already know, okay, these two numbers that I'm multiplying together will come out to something around 100. So you'd know where to put the decimal point based on knowing something already. With this, you could insert a problem directly like it says in a textbook or the numbers that you had written in front of you so that you could get the problem or the answer that you needed. Uh, the interesting thing is that they do have a vinyl case along with the calculator. One of the nice things about a slide rule is that someone who is using one of them could keep them with them at all times. As apparently it was very easy for someone to keep a slide rule in their front pocket and then whenever they needed it, they could go ahead and use it. However, the calculator, it was just a little bit too big. So, this case was meant to make it a little more mobile. On the back there's a clip so that you could clip it to your belt, or this loop where you could also clip it to your belt or whatnot to have it with you at all times. All in all, I think this is a very successful digital artifact. It made the problem that it was trying to, so uh, trying to solve easier, and it took what was in place to solve the problem, the slide rule, and eventually made it obsolete. Those two ideas, along with the fact that we still use calculators like this today, 
makes it a successful digital artifact.